Well, good morning everyone. Cold one here. Uh, just going to give you a quick update of what, what I've been up to the last couple of weeks. Uh, you can see it's really cold here. Eh? There's ice everywhere. That's my other boat that I have for messing about on the river. But as you can see, my main project is over here. You can make out there, smoking out the chimney. Need that on first thing this morning, get the fire lit. Anyway, because it's icy. There's my old compressor. This little works a treat. Not done anything on the outside these last few weeks as it's just been bleh, too cold. And yeah, done nothing on the boat because it's been all about outside. Yep. Yeah. So what I've been doing is spending lots of money actually. That's not good. Right, let's have a look. I'm shaking more than normally it's because everything's covered in ice. Oh, it's ice on here. Yeah. What do you think, me door? That's beauty, that is, isn't it? I reckon it needs a good coat of paint, like. There you go. I've never even got a look on it, I know. I've never got a look. Yeah. It's a USB board. It'll do. Bear with me. Keeps the honest man out. As I've been spending money. If you watched my last video, you realise I was doing some repairs on the front end. And I had an old. SIP MIG mate there, which the Renault for a terrible white feet, to be honest, I'd had enough of it, I tried with it, and it just, I just give up, and I, and I flung it. So I checked myself to a Sealy, and it says professional on it, not that I'm professional, like. and it's much better than my SIP, right, just bear me when I climb down here. He fires on, see she's starting to glow red. That's been a godsend that has shot that in here. It's temp it is temporary by the way. There's the kettle on. And she starts firing up, that'll get out. It boils that kettle nicely. Anyway. What been up now? In the last video I did I was on about some of these pit marks in the front of you. Well, I've had a go of them. Me. Let's get myself positioned, it's quite hard to... Oops. So, I cut out some stringers there. Replace one new. And then bends in them, that stringer there. It's all done with a jig that I showed you well, last year, that I made. And I bent that. The frame I took out, the, the stringer I took out, for some reason, they'd cut slots in it and bent it by cutting slots, it's just fair enough. But then you got to weld them all up, and I did it just with that jig, bent it, fitted it in nice. That was the easy bit, putting that in. But when I showed you the pitting last time, I said I'm going to use a MIG welder. Well, there was all the pitting there, you can see behind here. That was all pitted. It's now welded in with MIG weld down here and through to there. When I took the frame out, obviously, I cleaned it all, ground it all back. Uh, it's done the job, however, in hindsight, I think I wish I'd just cut it out and put a new piece of plate in. Listen there, there, there was too much pitting on that bit. Also, on the other side was the same, it still a bit of pitting there, but it's not deep pitting. I did up there the same, and I'm wishing I'd cut the piece of steel out and just put a new bit in, it would have been quicker. 
then filling it up and then grinding it all off. So that's the other frame in there now, the stringer. And I've also joined them at the top, whereas they just went to fresh air before. So I'll put a little bit of a gusset in there to take it to the side chines. That's a better shot. There. See on that side. So that's that bit sorted. I'll come back here. I found another rotten stringer. All the fun of buying a, a boat that's already been built and gone rusty. Anyway, that stringer was rusted, rusted out, so I cut it out, and there was some pitting underneath it. And I just decided rather than mess about with the MIG weld and try and fill them up, just cut the plate out, cut the old stuff out, and put some new, brand new in. It was much quicker, and to be honest, I think it's a better job. Definitely a better job. Small pit marks, yeah, I'll fill up in MIG, but anything big, no. I'm just going to chop it up and put plate in. It's not a big deal. So that's been done. Anyway. But while I've been doing all this, it has been terrible because there's no ventilation in here yet. No vents in the roof, anything. So priority was to get a hatch in the front end up here. And I'm actually going to put a, a fan in the top, running off the 12 volt when I'm running my compressor. So it'll extract all the fumes and dust out of here. Because it, it's really bad. And it hasn't helped that I've been full of cold. So anyway, so I've been treating myself. Here's my new MIG welder. Courtesy of eBay. Well, actually, it was a local firm. I went and picked it up. There you go. There's my pub gas bottle. CO2 bottle, whatever you call it. There. But what I've been doing is making this framework here because obviously the roof is slightly curved and what it recommends in the instructions on the hatch is that it must go to a flat surface. No, it, it's not much of a curve, but it left about, I don't know, four mil either side where the hatch would the new hatch would have had to pull down to so i've made this basically bits of angle iron straight for the straight edges i joined them in the corners and then cut the round edges and as you can see put bits in the corners rounded them off all this has got to be ground up by the way I bent them bits of flat in the vise outside first and then fitted them in and I've had a go with my MIG. To be honest, it's not as powerful as I like, but it has it's managed to do it. So yeah. I'm quite happy with that MIG well and it's alright. You know, it's so much quicker than messing around with a stick last night, like when I did it. Yeah. So that's that made, that frame. It's all going to be, all these edges are all going to be ground and a rounded edge. And you'll, if you see underneath, what I did was I made a template because obviously I didn't want to use the, the new hatch. So I used the new hatch to make a template first. You can see where I've drew all the lines over the frame I needed to make for it to fit into on a bit of cardboard. Yeah. And I just laid that on this bit of bench here, that temporary bench. Yeah. And the hatch. Yeah, the hatch is Planus Escape Hatch PLA 50L. And the cutout is there. It's 471mm by 471mm. Yeah. Don't like telling the wife how much I paid for all this stuff, but there you go. She doesn't need to know. Yeah. It's got two decent locks on it. And they can lock from the outside apparently. Alright, oh, you can temporarily lock them from the outside just to look it. Obviously, it's got the protective coating on it at the moment. Let's do it. Let's have a look. 
There's the locks on the inside. I mean, with Vita skis, it's normally pretty good. And it's got a nice seal around the edge and the drain all in the corner. So if any weather, water gathers on it, it's going to run it in here, out the side. That's pretty good. It was either that or a Houdini. And I've had Houdinis and on other boats and they've leaked. And a friend of mine has got a boat in here with a Houdini and that leaked. So there you go. Houdini's another 150 odd pound on top of what I paid for that, which was just over 200 pounds for that one. But anyway, that. <clears throat> when I get everything bolted up, when it was bolted. Welded into the top of this framework, obviously that will get mounted in there. And what I'm going to do is because it's it's five mil the angle, I'm just going to tap the angle with the screws. So I don't have to muck around with nuts inside once I'm panelled in, so it can be took out without removing panels. Tap the holes out, stainless screws in, put a bit of grease on them. So hopefully they come back out later if ever need be. But yeah. So that's today's job, get that ground up, cleaned up, get these edges nicely curved, and get the hole cut, where are we, up in there, and it's starting to warm up a little bit outside, not much mind, so I think that's today's job, see if I can get that all cut in there, that ground off, a cut of primer before it goes in. And jobs are going. So there you are. There's a bit of an update for you. And I must treat myself to a new camera because this bloody thing keeps running out of memory. And I would treat myself to a new camera if I knew how to work them. I don't even know how to work this phone, to be honest. So any comments of help there on a cheap camera, which is, I don't know, easy to operate because I've got a clue about these things, really. Hence my videos are shaky. I have no tripod for this, so you never see me. May get one of my lads down with videos working. But they don't like coming down really. But there you go. So today's job, get that done. And I'll give you an update in a few weeks. Thanks for watching. Bye now.